Okay, let's look at the law of cosines here. In this first video, I just want to explain what the law of cosines says, and then I'm actually going to prove the law of cosines because it's it's really not um, that difficult of a proof. It's worth seeing. Um, first of all, the law of cosine relates two sides and a given angle here to the opposite side. Okay, so the information that you're given is a side, an angle, and a side, and it's going to relate it to this third side. We'll call it C. So if you're given this information here, uh, that's when you're going to use the law of cosines. So here's the relationship. It's, it's basically the C squared here. So C squared is actually equal to A squared plus B squared. And that kind of looks like the Pythagorean theorem, except this is not a right triangle, okay? And so it's the C squared, the side opposite the angle, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A, B times the cosine of theta, okay? And so this is what the law of cosines says here. So if you're like given these two sides and this angle, then you can fill all this out and then you can find C here by taking the square root of all that. Um, also, if you're given the three sides of a triangle, you can find that missing, you can find an angle of the triangle by solving this as a trig equation, okay? So um, we're gonna look at how to use this here but first, I want to just prove this relationship because it's really not that bad of a proof here. It actually um, is a good proof to look at, kind of like the law of sines. Um, basically, I'm gonna just like the law of sines, I'm gonna drop down this perpendicular here, and we'll call that the height of this triangle. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this side here. I'm going to split B up here into X and Y. So like this right triangle has a side Y. This right triangle has a side X. Okay. So now using the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle, I would get that C squared is equal to H squared plus Y squared. Okay. Now, um, uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, this I'm gonna get I'm gonna substitute things here for h squared and y squared so first of all for y squared um, I notice here that y here and I'll write this over we'll write another line of things this is where I'm gonna actually develop this here and then this will be kinda of some scratch work over here but we see here that um, y is actually equal to um, b minus x. Okay, that's y. So the whole thing is b, this is x. So y is just equal to b minus x. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to notice. And in a minute, I'm going to substitute that in for y. But let's look at h squared here. So h here, if I look at this triangle, h is this, that the two legs are h and x, and the hypotenuse is a squared. So I would get, I mean, the hypotenuse is a, so I would get a squared is equal to h squared plus x squared. Okay, so I would get this. So basically I could solve this. h squared is equal to, I'm moving the x squared to the other side. So a squared minus x squared. Okay, so in for h squared, I could put all this. And then in for the y, I could put b minus x. So what I can get here is I could rewrite this. c squared is equal to, and in for h, I'm going to put a squared minus um, x squared. Okay, that's because h squared is equal to that. And then in for my y, I'm going to put b minus x b minus x, so it's that quantity squared. So I'm just placing this in for h squared, 
and then the b minus x in for y. And so now I'm going to expand this out. So I get c squared is equal to a squared minus x squared plus. This would be b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. And so what I see here is that this x squared cancels this one out. And then I get c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2bx. Okay, so now let's look at this triangle here for a minute. And we're going to bring in the cosine of that angle here. So the cosine of theta, if you notice here, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So this is equal to x over h. So basically, x here is equal to, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> not x over h, that'd be tangent. So it would be x over a, this should have been a here. So, um, so it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So this here would be, um, x would be equal to a times the cosine theta. So that's what x is equal to, and now I can place that in here. Okay, c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2b, and then I would have a cosine theta. And you can see that is pretty much, oops, and all these should be c squared here. That is pretty much here. It's just the a and the b are commuted around. You can commute them, and you would get that. Okay, so that's actually how, where this comes from. That's, um, the uh, the proof there behind the law of cosines. So now in the next video we're going to actually use the law of cosines um, to solve some right triangles.